so it's early October, although you'd hardly know it. It feels like summer still, but leaves are just starting to change colors. Just starting to feel like fall, but anyways, deer season's approaching and I'm gonna put out some trail cameras today, get them set up so I can see what's going on in the woods. And I thought while I'm out here and near the river, I'm gonna try and catch a couple pike too. So we'll see if they're still biting. But yeah, just going out for an afternoon for a walk and see what we see and hopefully we'll catch a few pike. It's a pretty good wild apple crop this year. There's some red ones. There's some yellowy green ones in this tree. And some of them are really loaded. All right. So, camera's ready to go. I've got it pointed at this trail. Pretty well used trail, as you can tell, you can see it's like a highway. This is all a big bedding area out in front, and then off to this way, there's a bunch of fields that they feed in, and then come down in here and bed down. So, river's over here. So, I think this is gonna be a great area to see some activity, that's for sure. So, got her set, hopefully we'll see something, and I'm gonna try and catch a fish now. Oh, wow. Water's so low. Look at that. Wow, that's ugly. It's really black, too. Wow. Well, hopefully we can still catch some fish. That water's really, really low. I didn't expect it to be that low, so... I don't know if you saw that or not. This little wee guy just chased it right up. I should have been paying attention. I was already picking out my next cast and I should have been watching my lure. So I was not paying attention and looking at my next cast rather than paying attention to my current cast. And of course I had a little pike follow right in, latched onto the back of the skirt, didn't really get it and I wasn't ready for it at all. So. I missed my first one, so hopefully that's a sign of good things to come. But the water's super low, I don't know if you can see that. Very, very clear, very, very low. I'm not used to seeing it like this at all, so. Hopefully that doesn't hurt our chances, but. I'll, uh, I'll give that guy a go again when I come back. Well, a little slipperier than when I was here last. <laughs> Look at the basketball right there. I saw that upstream earlier this year. Ooh. There he is. That's a good one too. Oh, no. Nice. Look at that guy. So there he is, it's a pretty decent pike. Caught on the spinner bait, so I'll get him back now. So. So there's number one, that was a pretty good one for this river. They don't get a whole lot bigger than that in here, so that was a nice one. In the 
he's in he was in one of these holes that you know you can see it here i'll show it to you but yeah this is one of the few holes where you actually can't see the bottom it's uh so shallow right now there's only a few holes where these fish are congregated so it makes it a little easier to target them but uh he hit right away as soon as i got past that log he came right out and hit it and yeah that was pretty exciting so not a bad afternoon start and hopefully we'll get a few more before it's done and i just want to say uh, earlier this year i saw a basketball floating in the river that i don't even know how it got there we're kind of out here a ways but somehow there was a basketball way upstream and then now it is perched right in the log so the water must have came up and it got wedged in there but the things you see in the bush eh? Thing in metal is horrible. It's everywhere right now. So when I'm pike fishing like this, if I'm fishing longer runs, sometimes the pike will just follow and follow. So once in a while I like to give it a little twitch. It just makes the blades kind of flash and twitch around and just add something a little different. Sometimes that is enough to trigger a bite right there instead of just following it right to shore and then they see you and take off you kind of want to trigger them before they get too close because generally once they get up to shore and see you you're not going to get them after that then they're pretty spooked but i think that's it i think i am done better head back so yeah so time to head out i had a good couple hours in the bush probably an hour and a half i was out here um I got my trail camera set up. I did some scouting, saw lots of activity on the trails. I did not see any rut activity, but that's not too surprising yet. We just got our first frost this week and it's still pretty early, but lots of sign. Their deer are moving around in here, so that's a good sign. And then uh, I missed a little pike. I caught a decent one, as you saw, and uh, overall just a pretty good quick trip to the bush. So always enjoyable when I can get out like this and I hope you enjoyed it too. Stinking burrs.